Hello everyone and thank you for stopping by my channel. Uh, today I am going to redo this file folder and I think I figured out a way to do it um, very easily and quickly. Okay, so we won't spend too much time trying to figure, to work this out. So basically you need three folders. Now, after we finish this, you may decide that you don't really need to have all these steps. You know, I mean the different sizes. Maybe you only have center ones left. You might be able to use them anyway uh, on the other sides. Um, but we'll, you know, that'll be your choice. All right, so the first thing we need to do in all cases, we need to cut these three uh, folders down to eight and a half. Now, the last time I told you it was nine and I don't know, three quarters or something, but I found as I was working on it that it was, um, it was too big. It was a lot of, it didn't fit my paper for one. So in other words, um, let's take this sheet of paper and it is um, eight and a half. Actually, let's see, it's like eight and a quarter because, um, you know, we're gonna take off these two eighth of an inches. So, so eight and a quarter. So if I go eight and a half on these folders, they should be the right size. All right, so I'm gonna take away these two top ones and we'll leave this this one here um, yes okay because we are going to cut this edge off from this edge to this edge eight and a half okay that'll be the height of our or a folder. So I hope that is clear to you. Okay, so this is your, this folder here is considered your cover. All right, so that'll maybe help you keep it in, in track. Okay, so that one, I'm just gonna write up your cover because we're gonna cover it anyways. All right, that's your cover one. Then we're going to do this last one, not the center, but the um, the other end. And this one we're going to cut um, from this side. So eight and a half, no, nope, wrong. I wanna cut it from this side, eight and a half. Make sure that's correct there. Yeah, I think that's correct. Okay, I'm trying not to be at all confusing. It's hard. Okay, eight and a half where I've marked it. Okay. It's hard with the tabs. Um, keeping track of where the tabs go. All right, so now we have a tab at this side and one at that side, and then we need to do the center one, and that was the confusing, maybe, part. So you want your center tab to be center of your other two pages, you see? Because if we just cut this off like that, it would be equal to this page almost. So we want to make it more center. So I, you could measure each end and mathematically plan it out, but I am just lining it up with the bottom one and seeing, and it's so hard to see this because it's all the same color, but I can see that that's pretty, you know, centered and, teardrop kind of effect. Okay, I'm gonna mark it that side and that side. And I'm gonna cut those two sides. Okay. Okay. 
it's raining here today. I know that some people were getting some stormy weather in the Midwest area, Texas and all, Oklahoma. Um, okay, so those two edges are cut. And this one is going to be our uh, center page. And this is going to be our, um, what page is that gonna be? This is gonna be like page two, I guess. This one is gonna fit in here. So let's, so this is our center page of our journal of our folio, not the center of the. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the rest of this, like I said, we don't have to um, cut anymore or score anymore. So now I'm going to score on, and you want to score this really, really well because you want it to fit inside of each other. I didn't, I found out that, or as I did a sample one, you do not have to do it a half inch and a quarter inch and all that. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, I even felt like maybe it would be too, too bulky or something, but I don't see that that's a problem. Okay. So, that is not the cover. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Okay, so we've um, scored all that. So the part that is the first one with this part up at the top needs to be um, the front of the, it'll be the cover of the book. So here's this um, side over here, and we need to cut that at this side here, we need to cut at six and three quarters. Okay, I hope I'm not, and that is from this first score line. Turn this back this way, all right, because now this is the top, and this is going to be our cover. So now we have to score, not cut, at six and three quarters, because these two need to fit inside of each other. So six and three quarters on this outside line there, which is this one I marked, and we're going to score that. Then we're gonna score at seven and a half, which is right there. I feel like I already did this. Did I do this? No. Maybe it was just because I did it once before. Okay, so score that. So now we're going to fold this up. And I forgot to start my timer. Okay. So this is gonna come in there and this is gonna go here. All right, so that's gonna be your front cover right there. Now, I 
am not crazy about this on my front cover, so I may go back and trim that off, but we'll decide that later. All right, now we've got this page. Now we want our um, I think it's this page, which is the one that is at the bottom. Now on this page, we're just going to fold it wherever we want. We want it to be smaller than this, okay? So if you fold this, you can fold it, um, like well, from there to there, that's three inches. If you want to fold it, then this makes a pocket. I'm going to go ahead and fold it there and just to show you. Okay, so you can glue these two edges down and that will make a pocket. Okay, or you can fold it this way and you can make a pocket on this side. You have to decide first what, what you want to do. But just line these up and then make sure you're clear of that. If you want to cut this off, you can cut it off. Now this side is the same thing. This side here, I decided I was going to um, make it up open up and this side I think I'll glue down so I'm going to make this one maybe a little bit smaller let's see I think I made this one about um, yeah two and a half okay it's really not hard you guys because this part in here, after you make this outside part and you get all of them the right height, the rest of it is just folding it whatever you want. All right, so now this one is going to go in the center. And this one is going to be um, like a bifold. So you want to fold it up to here. You don't want it to... Um, you don't want it to be on the edge of this here. This side, you're gonna bifold it here. Okay. And then just trim it down. I mean, uh, score it down. All right, so now we have this little guy here, which is gonna open like this in the journal. This little guy here is either gonna be glued down, open up, or glued this way. The same with this one. You can glue it whatever way you want. And then this one doesn't have any fold. It's just it's just your front. Uh, and then this one is going to be your um, cover. All right. So now we're just going to glue these together. And I used um, I'm going to have enough folios left over. This is my third one to make several. So I'm going to use um, fabric tack because I want to be able to move these around. Um, and probably should have inked here and or put a strip of paper there first. But I'm just going to do this one without that. Okay, so this is our second layer. And we're gonna line that up the best you can. In fact, you just kind of fold it up like this. And then it will glue down. Now this is gonna make a pretty um, sturdy spine. Okay. See what I'm saying though, if you wanted to, you could ink. Um, moved on me. Yeah, just make sure they don't move so you don't get them crooked. All right, and then this side here, or in, inside, right. Right now we should have two like that.
I'm sure that, um, I don't know what her name is, but it's Victoria Dreams is her YouTube. And I'm sure that she had a reason for doing, um, okay, I'm just going to fold it just slightly like that so we can get, because these need to be down really firmly, okay? It's not quite straight on this edge, but it's straight. I think I made one a little longer, though. All right. So that's done. Okay. That is done. Let me just fold these in. So, all right. Now this is going to come this way. This is going to pop over. And I... <clears throat> what I did was I trimmed off even just a hair of this page because I felt like it was, um, let me get a clip here just to keep these under in control. So I cut it off just a tiny, tiny bit because it kind of hits that page in front because they're really both the same size. They should be. One should be a little bit tinier, but it's easier to do it after the fact. Let's see, it's still right on that that edge, and it won't be a problem. Okay, so all this seems to be okay, and if it's you know a little coming up a little bit in there, just throw some of your um, art glitter glue in it. All right, so. That's that's it. Um, that is all it takes to get your folders. So I hope you understand now. Because she had scored all these and measured them all and all that. And I'm like, after I made it, I'm like, I don't need to do all that. Don't need to. I can just fold it what I want it to be. Okay, so let's do this again. So the back here is going to be cut at 6 and three quarters then from that um, from the original score line then this side is going to be scored at six and three quarters from the score line then we're going to score at seven and a half which makes this little folder then the inside and of course we've cut all the folders down to be the size we want it to be to match our papers all right and then just fold. You know the middle one is gonna go here first, and then this one goes at this end, and then this this one goes at that end. So that's what I'm saying. I don't even think it matters what order you put them in. Maybe you'd wanna make sure you have a center one in the center, just for looks, okay? Because that's gonna all come out, and you're gonna put pockets in here. In here, you can add a journal. Okay, this is the best one I've made so far. <laughs> After practicing and practicing. Okay, yeah, this is the first one I made. And, and see, it's just the same thing. But it has all these weird um, spine sizes. So that, that one, I'll just, I'll save it. I'll probably use it because it's not that bad. Okay, so let's just take a little time now. Okay, so this one here is the, my, my sample one. Um, what I did was um, I started inking around it. I guess it depends on how you want it to look. If you want it inked, ink it. If you don't, leave it plain. But um, I don't like necessarily this actual color of this um, file folder and in the in the future I may even coffee dye these but I can tell you if you coffee dye them they do get a little warpy because they don't like um, to be coffee dyed now this one I changed my mind on my fold and I apologize for all these little deals but I'm going to use it okay so um, then you need to 
after you've stenciled and and um, put your uh, ink on, I started off with distressing tea dye because my digitals for this kit, which is uh, Irresistible Prints, this one here. And this is the first kit I bought for Christmas. I ran across it and it's, um, it's a kind of a small kit, I would say. Um, not really, really small, but smaller than I'm used to. And, um, but I thought it would be great for a folio. So um, this is the stuff on the back and I have already cut all this out. So this, it's Irresistible Prints is the, comp is the uh, digital and it's on Etsy. And it's called, hold on, I think I forgot to write that. I think it's called Winter Wonderland. Everybody's named them Wonder, Winter Wonderlands this year. Their, their uh, uh, things, but look at the pages. Well, I think I showed you. They're just really adorable. Okay, so here's an envelope I stuck here. So this one is the front cover, and I thought I would put this envelope in here. So I will be gluing it to this, like that. Then I will cover this page. And I thought I would cover the envelopes before I put them in because it's just a little easier to handle it. So if I put it in this way, I could leave this open and make a pocket if but I don't generally like that look, or I don't use that. I cover the whole thing. And then I either open it on the top or I open it on the side. Now this one I'll probably open on the side simply because um, it's pretty big. You know, you could cut this down even more. I might do that. I might take some of this off because it's pretty, it's a pretty big one and it would hide everything here, but you know, that's up to you, all right? But you won't do that until after you stencil and um, ink. Okay, so now this one here, I thought I would just probably glue this down both sides and make this a tuck. This one here, um, I thought I might put an envelope here to the inside and have it open. Um, and, you know, you can um, do whatever you like because um, um, you know, it's going to be your folio. Because I really can't visualize it all yet. Alright, so let's say we put one there. You could do that. Uh, you could put it going this way. Um, like that. As long as your envelope fit. You could do that, um, and then so on. And then like a, if you have a longer envelope, which I probably don't have one because I tried to clean it. Well, here's one. So if you have a longer envelope, um, you know, you could put it here and make it a flip on top of, or maybe do it this way, this flip, and then you open it up and, you know, or have another flip on this side. So there's a lot of options to do it. I mean, you could put a, a bunch of flips. Okay, so my, what I've done here, because I've already stenciled, well, I didn't stencil that because you really can't see. So this was gonna be my first envelope here. I cut it here because we're gonna put something inside of that. This is the background page. And you don't have to cut it all the way because uh, it's gonna be hidden by that envelope, which in this case, I, um, I'm going to glue this down here and here because I wanna make, this pocket for like a journal card or something. Okay, so let me do this. And um, I inked around here. I am not going to 
do all of this on video. I think I'm going to try to do, um, when I go to do like a special pocket or, you know, flip out or something like that, I will put that part on video because, um, we do not have a long time. I know it seems like we do, but we don't have a long time for, um, am I trying to say before Christmas I mean and then here in the United States oh I found this great uh, pen oh I hope it fits in this needle I don't know if it will oh kind of it's very tight though um, I thought maybe that would be a good one to, to you know every now and then I have to clean this it gets just get stuck like everything else it doesn't get stuck as much as the regular art glitter glue stick glue um, bottle right, let's see huh okay that goes that way all right I'm I'm gonna bring my glue in after I was thinking maybe because we know how quickly this our glitter grabs. That's why I use the, what do you call it? Um, fabric tack on the edges, I mean on the spine because, okay, so that seems to glue down really well. All right, so I've got this guy here and I don't think I need to glue this down to make a flip because I'm not going to make a flip. So I'm going to glue this down really well because I'm going to put some a journal card or whatever behind it and I don't want it to get stuck on the edge. It might, yeah, see it always does. I was gonna do the window down here, but then my bunnies, I couldn't fit my bunnies on there, on this page, and I wasn't gonna forfeit them. Okay, so now you just need to make sure that whatever you set down in here is far enough away so it doesn't hit the edge of that page. And if you feel like you need to ink down the back of this, which, so my, um, my tea dye ink is dead. So I'm just going to use my um, twigs, other twigs, instead. I don't, it's kind of dark, but I think it's okay. I was thinking lighter because the these images are kind of light. Look at that. Isn't that perfect behind there? I'm not even going to bother with that. Let me see here. I'm gonna get that glue stick all the way to the edge. Okay. Oh, you know what I was gonna do? Let me uh, let me do something first. Let me, hold on. Let me get my paper folder and I've um, rearranged my my little notebook so I have all my ephemera here and I have uh, some pieces back here there wasn't a lot to go in this okay so I'm gonna use this whoop, as a guide let's see tab on the edge of that's not one I had because whatever I had um I don't know what I do with it did it show through the window hmm. 
Maybe it was this. I just didn't slide it all the way in, I guess. All right, well, I'll find something. But what I was gonna say is, I think I'm gonna run a bead of glue um, right through here and then close this edge. So, so the, it'll be a smaller journal card because Um, it's kind of, to fill this whole thing up is, is kind of a big journal card. So see if we do that, then when we slip a journal card in, which hopefully I went down far enough. Well, if it's not okay to get it in, I will cut it down. Hmm. Did not feel like I went that far with it. Let me just undo it. And those little guys show through. I guess I them on there. So I'm going to close this up. I don't think it'll slide down. I'll just put a little bit right here in case it wants to slide. You know what I mean? I don't think it'll actually slide down. All right. Let me cut this off a little bit. It's kind of tight. Okay. So now we can... Okay, so we've got the journal card here. We'll have to put a tab, and then this will be behind it. I don't know if I need anything punched or anything right there. I don't think so. Okay, so set that down there. And if your window envelope's too big, you can always trim the bottom off of the window. I mean, of your envelope, so it will fit on your page. Okie doke. So, see, my concern was that, well, I guess everything will sit in there. Yeah. Not this one, but. Okay. Did I need to glue this part down? I guess I should. I'll, I'll put a little glue in there. I don't think it's going to go anywhere, but just in case. Right along the edge. Oh, my goodness. One of those um, maybe glue days. I don't know. It's like it is humid out because of the rain. That has anything to do with it. Okay. So today is Saturday. I may get this video up today. Um, I'm not sure. Of course, you won't see that. If I don't get it up, you won't care, right? Okay. So... That's done there as far as, you know, embellishing this page. So then I have to decide what I'm going to do on the other ones. Um, this page here, I think I'm going to see what pages. Okay. This page here, I think I'll cover the whole thing uh, and then glue it down and make a tuck. You can always cut this off here too if you didn't want um, any tuck or anything right there. 
you don't have to. Let's see, because I was thinking, okay, so I have an envelope on this side. Maybe I want the tuck on this side. This side I was thinking opening. Um, see, I folded that in two spots because I thought it was not far enough over. And, you know, that's something you guys can do, too. You can just move it. Um, isn't that totally straight? Um, I'm trying to visualize what things I want to put in, um, you know, to make or whatever. But I don't know what. I have this that I've already made, but I think it's too thick for a pocket. I think a corner pocket it might fit. Okay, so I guess the best thing to do is just cover everything the way you want. Get your envelopes in before you do that, though. So let's... Um, this I feel like this is so long okay let me figure out what paper I want to put I think I want to put on the back I kind of wanted to have, you know, the characters show. So, that's kind of nice. So, if that was there, then this envelope would be there. Let me see here. I think... I cut the envelope right past that little house would be cute. So let me do that. And I got a new cutter, another cutter, you guys. I am uh, not very impressed again. I just, the thought of having to send this back, um, I just wanted something to put on my desk so I could get straighter lines. Well, none of this would fit in it to start off. And I, I, the lines are really thick, like these. But I thought it was cool that you can score with it. But there's, this is only eight and three quarters inches. And I thought, I don't know, I was, maybe I was looking at more than one, of course. And I thought it was 12 inches long, but I guess not. That's okay. It'll be handy for something. I'm not sure what, but something. Okay, so I'm going to put that there, so I'm going to cover this. Oh, and if you guys want to round the corners, I kind of thought I would put everything together, and then what corners need rounded, I would round. Like, if I want to round, well, I can't round that one because it's got that. So I wouldn't round it anyway, right? Okay, so, um, so chickadee would be cute. Just thinking, though, if I want to put a pocket on top of this or something, I might lose him. Kind of like what you kind of think about, you know, like, are you going to put, oh, let me see here, I have in my, I have these corner pockets, and I thought I would use these, I thought I would use this to put that little folder in. Okay, 
So let's see if I was going to stick a pocket on here. Let's see, this kit does not have a lot of um, I don't know, maybe I missed a page. Could I have done that? Sometimes I think I don't want what's on that page or I wanted to print it on different uh, cardstock. I'm gonna have to go back and look. I kind of feel like I missed something. All right, I'm gonna use this side here. So I'm just going to mark it right here. Cut that down. This works this time. I guess if I could just put it up there. And I did find out that I have to hold this down. Otherwise, um, it doesn't cut way down here. I saw a couple people with this, and I remember Crafter's Companion, I when I was card making and stuff, that was very popular. Or maybe it was even years ago that it was really popular. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm just going to put that on this side like that. And I'm going to cut this just inside that line. So I have a little bit of a quarter. I'm not going to ink this um, border. I'm just going to ink, I mean, I'm not going to ink the, um, the card. There's something about that craft paper, craft envelopes, that the ink just changes color completely. Not on all of it, I don't know, but the ones I have. anybody's noticed who has a, a YouTube that they when they upload it seems that it's um, it's uploading faster these days I don't know they did change something because I have a different look I don't like it when they change things every time my computer says it's going to update uh, it scares me but I have a friend who said, if you don't do the updates, your computer is not very efficient. I mean, it could be very helpful. If any of you have a Cricut, they, uh, they uh, do a, um, I don't know, I guess it's an update or, yeah, it's an update. I mean, almost daily different version they update their version and they still haven't got it right it's getting better though it is getting better okay so there we go little bird now i need to cover this side okay so this is going to go down there and i really need i don't know if i need to stamp around that All right, let's see. Maybe we can put the bird on this side of the envelope. Yeah. Okay. And Great if I had something you could, ouch, my hand still hurts, uh, that you could um, 
save on your desk or have it built in. Like my sewing machine, I had it drop down into a table one time. I don't know, but I used to have a table that I could drop the machine in. So. Or, you know, if you had a computer desk that has the tray to slide out for your keyboard, you probably could put your cutter on that. I should have I should look for one of those. See if it would work. Like there's the ones that have the keyboard. It's a corner cabinet. But you can sit on the one side and then have your key have your keyboard on the other. side of the desk so you could just reach back and oh I should have glue stick this a little It's going to go down at the bottom. Okay, I'll just do that. Looks like the glue needs to be a little lower than the fold. Okay. This is, you know, it takes time to do this, really. Okay, so let me get this right up to the edge here. going to fit here hopefully it's going to be straight it's cut off a little bit actually off the top and the bottom I mean you could even put your papers on before you do your your folding That didn't even cut down there. What kind of machine is this? I see, like, I was watching Artie Mays. Oh, my gosh. And I don't know what cutter she had, but she had to, like, go three or four times like that. That's ridiculous. I'm taking this back. That I can't even cut a single piece of paper. Or I didn't do a mark. I was just going to trim it just a hair. Let's see if I can get this one to do it. Okay. You know, that's why I buy from Amazon. Because um, I can send it back with no questions asked. My hand lifted every time also. I think maybe what I need to do is, because my problem, I love my other little cutter. You know, the one I use all the time. Um, but what I don't love is that I can't get it to cut really good straight. So this has got to fit this time. So, um, I 
but it also has the, what do you call it, guide, the scoring bar, which is the part I love. That's why I wanted this one that has that scoring thing. Okay, make sure that fits. And I don't think I need to worry about that. So, um, I'll just put a little glue here and then go around it. You don't have to leave this huge um, tag on here. Either. I mean, flap, you can cut it smaller. You need to. I want to get this on right. This has got to have this. It's got to be able to flip nicely. There we go. Okay. So we're going to stick this on here. So I hope everybody got this um, figured out on, you know, because I think it is a cool folio. I just um, like it, you know, it's a little different. I looked at this long, long time ago when I was thinking I wanted to do a folio and I saw this lady's video. And I'm like, oh no, I can't do all that. I can't do all that scoring and all that measurement. So I just walked away from it at that point. And then I was revisiting folios. See how that did not cut straight? That did not even cut straight. I guess maybe I had it in there crooked. I don't know. Anyway, cool. Okay, so that is the inside cover so far. Okay, isn't that cute? All right, so we have a pocket here and I wonder, should I put a thing right here? I think I'll wait about putting a notch because I never know I'm going to put like lace over there. I thought I might put a little lace on this because it's so whitish and um, delicate looking. I can't believe that. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Let's see. I've got... What happened to my time? It stopped. All right, well, I don't know how long I've been videoing, so I guess I'll stop. Wow, that's weird. All right, guys, I hope this helps, and I will be working on this again. And then I also feel like I'm going to be working on the blue um, journal, which um, I think is going to be um, ladies uh, reading, or, you know, it'll be related to... Um, reading elements, uh, library and dictionary and books and things like that. And I think it would make a lovely Christmas gift for someone you know that is, is a avid reader. Okay, so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.